the prisoner has finally awoken. I know you definitely hate the sound of that, don't you? <laughs> you know, if there weren't so many chevrons on your shoulder, I'd have left you to the crows and gotten on with my day. But I know you'll find yourself dead one day, regardless of rank. Recruit, Sergeant, Captain, Commander, General, the Emperor himself. Each would find their life force eliminated on first contact, shuffling off their mortal coil without the hope of receiving the mercy of being ransomed nor held prisoner. <laughs> Although, the latter is probably not the merciful option most would hope for. At least not among us. So then, you must be wondering, why oh why am I still alive? Or perhaps you're thinking, I am already dead, just dreaming or hallucinating as the last drops of your life force seep through your crimson hands lying in some unmarked ditch. But don't concern yourself with those uncertainties, for you are definitely alive. Alive for now, that is. Whether you stay alive is yet to be seen. Though, I must say, the fact that you are still alive and managed to make it through the last battle is quite astonishing. Astonishing to some. Not to me, though, no. Your survival was rather all but expected. You gallantly fighting your way through the hordes of sabres, your skillful use of the halberd to avert the cavalry, and your immaculate shot on our sharpshooters. But none of those even compare to your ability to lead your soldiers into battle, your awe-aspiring aura, the zeal of your words, the passion on your face and fire in your eyes, hanging on every command you order. Yes. You were not possible to kill while you still had your energy, but even the mighty of us must succumb. Even if it took us all day, you eventually ran dry. After the other parts of your army retreated and left the field, my soldiers moved in to finish you off. I stopped them. I recall looking at you as I wandered over to you lying on the ground, exhausted and injured. Not severely injured, but bruises and minor cuts definitely present. Your clothing and armor in tatters, ripped to shreds. As I approached, I kneeled beside you, picked you up and carried you in my arms. <laughs> if only you could picture the scene that followed. Many thousands of eyes staring at me. The soldiers of the Rukinian Empire staring in wonder, shock, bewilderment, anger or disbelief as they saw their commander. Commander Kerrigan carrying the most hated, reviled, abhorred, and respected, some even dare, admired, general of the Ruvenian Alliance. A sight to behold indeed. Not something anyone, especially you, were prepared to believe. And yet here we are. Not a commander, not even a special title. No matter how good you were, always second to the esteemed born nobility. So, now that we've gone through that, you're probably wondering quite a few things. One being why you're still alive. Well, to answer that in the most honest way possible, it's because you're not dead. <sighs> not very satisfied with that answer, are you? Just rolling your eyes. Not very respectful. But I suppose if I too was bound and gagged, I wouldn't have much respect left in me either. Alright, alright. I'll give you a bit more detail. You are alive because I have decided not to have you killed. Mmm, that piques your interest, doesn't it? I suppose the next logical question is, why did I keep you alive? To be honest, it's something I find myself continuously questioning, even as we sit here and speak. Or rather, me speak at you, and you so patiently listen. 
Why, oh why, would I want to keep you alive? You are the enemy, the opponent, a member of the Ravenian Alliance. So very much opposed to the glory of the Rukinian Empire, its subjects, and the Supreme Emperor who rules with his righteous hand. We have commanded on opposing sides, often clashing with one another. Skirmish after skirmish, battle after battle, war after war. We've seen quite a bit of each other. You've killed many of my kin, and I've seen a vast quantity of your comrades slain. So why are you still alive? I want you to join me. Join me in the Rukinian Empire and leave the Alliance. Your skills, your ability, your intelligence, wit, leadership, your strength, your speed, your wisdom and courage. They are of too much value to be wasted in such a lowly position that you are given in the Ravenian Alliance. The way they treat you is unbecoming of someone of your esteem. Join me and the Rukinian Empire and you will be given what you truly deserve. Your capables will be treated as honest as they should. Meritocracies may not exist, but your reputation will see you treated even better than the nobles you once served. And here there is much more than you could do, ever could do as a part of the Ravenian Alliance. But right now, you've been through quite a lot, so I'm going to let you rest on it. I'm sure you're quite tired. Once you're in one piece, we can talk further. So, sweet dreams.